Продовжуємо роботу. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. During the last 24 hours, the enemy increased the number of shellings at the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine in the region of anti-terror operation. And in both operative sectors, the enemy continued to open fire with the use of weapons that are prohibited by the Minsk agreements. The Lugansk sector, starting 1 till 3 a.m., the occupants shelled Ukrainian positions with the use of mortars that are near Lugansk and Troitske. And during the day, our positions near Krimsk and Novolugansk came under mortar fire, and after 9 p.m., shellings happened near Nova Alexandrovka. On the whole, in the Lugansk sector, uh, there were 16 mine blasts of 120 uh, millimeter and uh, four of 82 millimeter of caliber were recorded. And during the day, uh, the enemy opened fire uh, with the use of IFV three times um, against uh, the Ukrainian defenders in the region of Lozave and Lugansk. Uh, also, our positions near uh, Troitsk, Stanitsa, Lugansk, Zhovta, Zaitseva, Lugansk, Lozave, Krimsk, Lugansk, Size, and Nova Alexandrivka came under enemy fire with the use of grenade launchers and small arms. On the whole, during the last 24 hours, uh, 16 enemy prov uh, provocations were recorded, and in the majority of cases, uh, Ukrainian uh, armed units uh, didn't return fire, but in most uh, Blatant instances, uh, the enemy was suppressed by the precision fire with the use of weapons that is not prohibited by the Minsk agreements. The Donetsk sector, the enemy ten times opened fire at our positions, and in the region of uh, Pavlopil, the enemy delivered fire at our strong points with the use of large caliber machine guns and uh, other types of small arms, and also launched ten mines with the use of mortars uh, of tw uh, 120 millimeter of caliber that are prohibited by the Minsk agreements. Also, violations of ceasefire with the use of uh, grenade launches and small arms uh, were recorded near Krasnogorivka, Bogdanivka, Avdivka, Pavlopil, Kamenka, Marienka, and uh, Piski. And uh, uh, each time the enemy got precision firing in return with the use of SPG-9, uh, hand grenade launchers and uh, several small arms. During the last 24 hours, along the line of confrontation, 25 shellings delivered by Russian occupation forces were recorded. In 13 instances, Ukrainian units returned fire. Yesterday, in the course of shelling of our strong point near Piski, one serviceman was wounded. Uh, the defender of Ukraine was uh, promptly evacuated to medical institution, and now he is provided with all necessary medical assistance. According to information provided by main intelligence department of MOD, in frontline detachments of Russian occupation forces in temporary occupied territories of Donetsk and Lugansk oblasts, there is an increase in the dissatisfaction with subsistence support. In one of the units of so-called First Army Corps, the militants accuse commanders of stealing of uh, food stocks and appropriating of food rations for selling. Um, besides this, uh, um, Russian servicemen continue to commit crimes against civilians. On the 29th of November in Shakhtarsk, a group of armed Russian servicemen kidnapped a local resident. The officers of a group of civil and military cooperation, Svetlodarsk, jointly with the representatives of Donetsk Obel Energa, produced a roadmap of works needed in order to restore electricity supply in Travneva. And the local citizens of this settlement were provided uh, with the bags for coal. Uh, at the head of the Donetsk Regional Civil Military Administration instructed to distribute 
12 tons of coal for heating of their households. Besides that, uh, Ukrainian servicemen transferred to, to the citizens of Travneva and Gladysova humanitarian aid from uh, the military men of the Svetlodarsk Balch and the advanced doctor team of Svetlodarsk. The civil military cooperation group Kalinova uh, br brought to the servicemen who saw at the front line near Nivelsk uh, 250 square meters of polyacetylene and film from NGOs. Uh, servicemen of the Joint Civil Military Cooperation Center Kramatorsk held training for the high school uh, students in Kramatorsk. One of the firing grounds uh, at the site of withdrawal of heavy weaponry hosted competition for motor crews of the Special Operation Forces. The motorman competed in accuracy of fire, launching uh, motor shells from open and closed artillery positions. This week, over 3,600 participants of interdist uh, operation were granted decorations and presents from the defense agency. A total of over 49,000 servicemen and staff of the armed forces of Ukraine uh, were uh, granted decorations uh, from the beginning of the ATO. And the families of uh, military men who died in action uh, were paid 1 billion 592 million grievances. Injury or disability related welfare benefits paid to ATO combatants amount to 1 billion 488 million. That's all uh, by this moment. Are there any questions? Roman Pavlovich, 24th channel. Uh, can, can you tell us some details uh, of the Verkhna Teretsk and the movement of Ukrainian uh, military men there? Uh, what we can say, uh, the press center of ATO forces said already, I can only repeat the information in order to improve uh, the conditions of firing. Uh, Ukrainian uh, servicemen may improve their positions, uh, but uh, in strict compliance with the Minsk Accords, uh, uh, so Ukrainian forces can uh, redeploy their uh, troops. Thanks. That's all for today.